going to teach you some peace control moves in this video that your friends are always using. The reason I say that is because there's so many cracked people on Fortnite nowadays. So it makes me believe that you have at least one friend that knows all these moves in this video. I will assure you though that these moves are not just basic peace control moves. I'm walking you through advanced peace control that works in real games that's simple, clean, easy to do, all right here in a simple guide. Tons of people have been asking me for peace control tips and tricks, tutorials, all that. This is for you. Don't forget to use code Kemi's in the item shop. If you want to buy any merch, check out the link down below. I send personal messages to everyone who buys it. I'm starting it off hot with the clip I posted to Instagram a couple days ago. This is an absolute dirty move that I do to a lot of people. Let me get the glasses on. I'm rapid firing through all this. To teach you crazy peace control, you got to know the tendencies of other players so that you don't get peaced yourself. As you see, this guy has the wall on me. He's being aggressive. Notice how I'm more than one box away so that even after he makes the edit, I shoot him and move outside that box so I don't get shot. I see that he's less aggressive. So that's when I get a little aggressive. I shoot the wall on my SMG, break it really quick. Once I got the walls really close to him, I did peace control with cones further away, up and down with very good crosshair movement, place the wall to block his shot when he shoots. And then I edit open the whole thing and then surround him in a box. Because he's trying to leave, you have to do this all really quick. Otherwise it won't work. This type of peace control to claim walls is the best thing to do nowadays. People always know that when you put a stair over your head, you're going to be jumping into that box forcefully. What I do to fake people out is act like I'm jumping into the box, but I'm actually not. And I'm just trying to claim the wall. In this exact position, I put the stair over my head. I swing pickaxe the wall, grab it. And the reason I was able to grab it was because he was going to just spray at me or try and switch places. Then I play further back with a right hand peek and shoot him. And I end up getting the kill. Super, super good counter to the SMG spray meta. Watching this entire fight, how I'm trying to do peace control. I'm getting third party the whole time. The goal plain and simple. Keep the pressure up, but make sure he's getting third partied while I'm pushing in on the back wall. You see how even when I ran into the box, the wall wasn't mine. He edits open. It's okay because I shove a stair to block him off. That's counter peace control. Now I'm positioning on the other side so that I don't get third partied and he's the one that's getting shot. Because I switched up position, he got shot a little bit. I do floor stair, edit down, boom, dead. I'm trying to do the peace control, not get peace. What I'm teaching you in this clip is the most fundamental tip I can teach you in any time you go to pressure someone's box. You see how he has multiple boxes to play in. So as I'm running up, what I'm doing is getting to a corner where I know he's not going to be able to make an edit on me real quick. This allows me to play in between both sides of the wall so that no matter what happens, I'll always have an escape route. I keep the pressure up, but don't get too close and still hug the right hand peak. I give myself time to reload. I make it seem like I'm being really aggressive. The whole plan was to fake him out so that he can reset the wall. And then that's when I come in with the SMG. I take the wall, boom, peace, boom, death. Trying to find little patterns and fights to see how aggressive they are. He slips away, but I forced myself into his box. When the stair wasn't mine, I shot it with my shotgun to make it weak. Then I swung only one pickaxe because I shot my shoddy. And then I make the edit and kill. Even in duos, when people are really far away, you got to make sure that you're leading with your cone. Because I was leading with the cones, I end up getting him coned. I get both pieces on him and then I just 150 max them. This clip looks really dirty, but it's just simple, basic piece control that works in real game. Trust me, I got way better clips coming, but if you enjoy these type of videos, just drop a like for your boy. Consider hitting the sub button as well because around 70% of people aren't subscribed. One of the most unique and simple ways to get peace control is doing this move I'm about to show you. I'm pressuring this guy, forcing him into awkward situations, but one thing I did was set up the box fight just like this. I jump around to get on a corner so he can't make an edit on me really quick. Cones in front, then wall. And then what I do because I felt out the fight, I have a sense that this guy's gonna do something weird. So I place the cone above that wall just in case he walks into this edit. And that's exactly what he did. Then after I crack him, no need to make any edits because all you have to do is spray your SMG and this is the safest way to get the kill. Starting out a box fight, I love to be the aggressor and force people into weird situations, but I do it just like this. It helps that I'm pepped out, but even not, I'm creating boxes around this guy's box to make sure that if he does go in a certain spot, he's getting peace to ready. Rolling up on the last box, I'm staying closer to the left side because this way I won't get edited on. Rolling up to the side that I want to do some peace control on. Notice how I shot it with the shoddy, then take it with my pickaxe. Stuff went a little south. I missed some shots, but this is what happens in real games. I guarantee you, you guys do the same thing. In this spot right here, this is one of the most useful tips. I throw a cone over his entire box, just like this. Looking at that angle, this is the easiest way to get height. I'm looking to get peace control on where he's running to, which is the back of the box 90% of the time. Then I absolutely full sent and just straight 50-50. In the moment, I finished up the fight quick so that I didn't lose the tip. Duo peace control, it doesn't get any simpler than this. My teammate ends up getting knocked and I get the kill. When I dropped, I cracked the guy falling down. Notice how we're both weak, but I needed the quickness to finish this fight quick. So I forced myself into the box. The reason why this worked so well and it looked like I did everything perfect was because this guy was holding his map out the whole time and I saw that the whole way. Going in with peace control, it's quite literally just the simplest. Placing a stair and editing it really quick and then before he knows it, he's dead. And then I go to res my goat teammate. I know for a fact people aren't gonna like this example, but I'm I'm putting it here anyway because this works all the time if you know the right situation. When I shot this guy out, notice how he had a cone in front of me. So I instantly do wall stare and try and go around that cone. You see how he got double edits on me though? And I continued to go out anyway. The move is just as simple as whenever you get double 
let it on to try and get peace control you wrap around with floor stair and try and go up that's exactly what i did right here and i know people aren't gonna like that because they're gonna say oh if it's a good player you're gonna get double edited and box if you read the situation right this move is the most clutch move in all of fortnite i use this all the time not related to the video but i got one of the craziest beams in my entire life there's tons of people in the game right now that don't know what to do at the start of a bill fight i just got marked i'm reading the situation first i decide to ramp up but notice how i'm not in the box when i'm placing the cone that's because at crisscross ramps this guy can easily peace control me once i got both cones and then i placed the wall i knew i'm absolutely safe the next thing you do is peace control the back side of the box i made this look so simple if i hit this triple edit he would have been dead right here i end up getting third party and i make it look like i just randomly happened to be on a wall that's it notice how i was holding the stair edit waiting for him to take out something other than a gun so that i can't get shot i'm on the wall waiting for him to edit right into my face because that's when he's not going to expect it. peace control is literally just as simple as sometimes it's having one build before they did a very important little side tip that some of you may not know after i flipped the stair edit and i ran at him notice how i had his back to me i go around people in box fights whenever possible so that it's extremely hard for them to shoot me this is very advanced peace control in this build fight some of you may not be able to do it simply comes from a lot of practice free building and creative i'm trying to get peace control on this guy and i do a triple edit but notice how after i come out of the triple edit i thought that he was going to be really close to me so i do a full box and make a little house for him but then i realized that he wasn't so i high wall up stare and then i can continue out with doing more retakes i choked the edits a little bit but do you guys see advanced peace control of how i'm doing peace control literally creating full boxes while keeping momentum and still trying to get height if he wasn't in that box that's something that you guys need to start implementing into retakes not just randomly doing stuff hear me out i'm gonna walk you through a bunch more cracked clips those clips at the beginning of the video are the most important type of unique peace control that you're gonna get that's the stuff that actually works in real games might be a little fancy to some of you but i promise you that even your favorite pros will build just like that stick with me let's learn a little more i got a guy trying to build fight me notice how i led with the stair place the cone boom right over to the left up and down with very small movement got all the back walls and the front walls edit through and this kid is full piece dead simply put the crosshair placement on cones you guys got to work on quick reminder even while sliding notice how i see this guy's trying to ramp out of this box i cone him first then place the wall i'm super comfortable piece controlling while sliding i definitely recommend practicing this more if you don't i learned this play style from one of the best people on fortnite Booga does this literally all the time he plays he's super far away from the builds when he's doing cones up and down which makes him have really good crosshair placement to line up shotgun shots just like this the ending is not what i'm talking about but the average person at the start of this fight they would have got the wall and ran directly at it while getting completely sprayed what booga does and what i started doing more because of him was running more to the left as i have walls in front of me to do cones up and down and then go for a shot afterward not only does it make you way harder to get hit but it also makes you have better crosshair placement because you don't have to move as much i don't know why i get so excited making these videos i think i'm really excited to make these because i never used to do these back in the old old days of four i shoot a guy he has the wall in front of me this is a no-go so i instantly place a stair jump on the stair but hold the edit backwards because i know that this wall is one shot then i hug the right hand peak super aggressively take him off guard by spraying through the wall then one pump him right to the map that is a very very off guard unique type of play this guy was very sweaty fighting him with no shotgun you see once he goes off the stair you know that he's going to try and edit some sort of window edit to shoot me that's when i run to the left side of the wall and reset it then i place the wall in front of me so that he can't claim that then what i do is charge right back at the spot where now it's completely open spray him up just a little bit run back to the left watch me here as i hold a terrible right hand peak i bait him into coming forward i flip the stair get a really good right hand peak but this time i have him in a corner and i have an smg only so i edit the whole thing open boom run right at his face and just pound him with that smg that was a very very good outplay to end fights really quick what i did was spray through this wall but then quickly try and flick my mouse to the left and right to try and claim both the left and the right wall so that he's trapped in the box i hate when people run away from me and in extreme situations just like this this is what i do to try and get the peace control around the entire box i told you earlier to force yourself in the boxes but be careful because lots of people will just wait for you to do it and then they'll just spray right at you so when i dropped down on this wall and i realized that i wasn't underneath the stair i did the fake out play and just held my shotty out i missed the shot blew the play but that's exactly what you want to keep in mind as you're pressuring someone's wall when people try to peace control me especially when i'm two layers up i'm instantly spraying their builds because they're just not ready for it when you sit there like a duck on height they're just going to edit course you through the roof fortnite is literally all about learning how to be comfortable messing up and then the second you round out every time you're uncomfortable and you're every time you mess up that's when you're going to be good at the game not when you can do stuff really consistent but it's more so about what you can do when you mess up and how you react to it just like right here when i made this edit through this wall and i saw that those builds were not mine i knew that he was going to drop down so i ran to the right hand peak i still got shot but that's okay because i waited for him to leave before i placed the wall boom now i smacked 
his head into a wall and that's when I use my SMG to just spray through. When you play with no shotgun, this is what you have to do. You have to kind of corner people. So I took the health disadvantage and just did the play anyway. Notice how as this guy is dropping down from the top of my box, I was spraying him in the action. Afterwards, I claim the wall and then instantly do cones up and down. I missed the shot on him, but because I'm outside the box doing peace control the right way, I reset the wall. Then I run into the box a second time and get the kill. Little did I know that there was another guy rolling up. What I did was reset the floor edit to make it seem like I was running away and then edited it again. This made him believe that he was going to be able to land on that floor, but in fact, he's falling down and he's getting shot in the process. Then I do the same thing with cones up and down and I finish up the kill by outsmarting him at the very, very beginning of the fight made him made a massive mistake. To learn how to have God peace control in build fights, it's literally quite as simple as doing this one move that all pros do. Notice how he's one box above me. What I do is high wall the wall placement. Then I place wall and stare on the bottom of me. And then I go in with full peace after I do those things. Every single pro and their mother will do that move. With one simple swipe of my keyboard in the smallest movement possible, I got three cones in these boxes around. Me. Once I swerved the shot and ran to the right because I knew that he was going to shoot, I placed the wall and practiced these edits so much that it looks super clean by being really close. I swipe down, go up, and I kill a guy. Being able to be a good peace controller, you need to practice the most uncomfortable edits and get used to them just like being really close to this wall in this situation right here. Guys, this video right here is single-handedly the best peace control video I've ever posted. I teach you guys the literal ins and outs of every single move that I do and all the moves I've learned from watching pros in the past. Share this with your friends because I promise you they're going to benefit from it. I got my phone right here looking at a DM. Shout out to Mint Jans on YouTube for using my code in the item shop. If you want me to read your DM, just send me proof of using my code. I'm going to try and put people at the end of my video. Hope you guys learned something. I'll see you in the next one. Deuces. Peace.